everybody, I'm Joe. And Nick the Tramp Kid. And we are part of the Trippin' Brahinis. Um, so we're staying in Santa Fe, New Mexico for the next three months. Temperatures will be dropping below freezing at night. So we are going to insulate the undercarriage of our travel trailer. So we've got, we bought six pieces of this two inch insulation uh, foam board. Uh, we've already cut it in half. We cut it half at the store. We got a pile of it there. We've got some foil tape. You get this in the AC section. Very important. Don't use duct tape. Use foil tape because this will not leave residue behind. You also want to make sure that you have a razor knife, a fresh set of razors, and a warm cup of coffee. All right. <laughs> we'll check back in as as the project progresses. <laughs> I've just been born again. You just been born again? Yeah. <laughs> Nick the travel kid. Nick the crawling travel kid. Okay, everybody, it's Julia here from Trip and Brahinis. We hope you've been following our project and you're watching till the end. Uh, we are all um, wrapped up, sealed up. It was nice having the rocks on our site because we were able to wedge those from behind and in front. Um, we uh, we bought one inch foam board insulated foam board and foil tape which I read would not leave residue on your RV I hope that's true because I did not test that so I may have another video down the road on how to remove it but we should only need this for about four to six weeks or whatever and then we'll take it off when the weather warms up but we bought six um, sheets of it four by eight we only actually ended up using five and we have a 30 foot tow trailer so I'll probably put the extra pieces underneath our mattress since we are open underneath our mattress that'll insulate it and keep uh, moisture resistant and all that but you can see that our slide is we're all taped up we're all sealed up uh, we're just gonna do a little bit more insulating around our actual valves um, just to keep those gates from freezing up and then I saw somebody else that just shoved some extra pieces of the insulated board along the side of their slide. So I just shoved those in there. I didn't even tape them, but I had the extra pieces just to prevent any other draft on windier days. Today was beautiful. It took us about three hours to do this from front to back. And uh, it was myself, my husband, and Nick helped us out as well too. So we can't always get him to do that, but we got him to help us out today. So it made a big difference having the three of us. Took us about three hours and about $90 because we had that extra piece. So if we hadn't bought that extra piece, it would have been about $90. So we will uh, see how that does for us tonight and keeping us warmer once the sun goes down, keeping our tanks from freezing. And uh, I will let you know how it goes. If you love this video, please like us below. We would love if you would subscribe to TrippinPrahinis.com. We hope to bring you a lot more tips and tricks. Um, things to make our RVing life easier for you and um, leave your uh, any questions you may have in the comment section below. Have a great day and thanks for watching.